From the home of the Pirates, we're at beautiful PNC Park. MLB The Show has action out of the NL Central. It's the Milwaukee Brewers going up against the Pittsburgh Pirates. And we'll be back for the first pitch right after this. And now, your 2025 Pittsburgh Pirates. Runner on at first with one gone. Nicholas the dude, the next to hit. Nicholas the dude. Keep it in here. Keep it in the infield right now. That's towards center. Round it. Find the ball. Round it. Round it. And they'll have runners at the corners after a one-out single. Hitting is really easy for some guys. One thing that I can see already is bat stays in the zone on plane for an extended period of time. And guys like that, they have a high contact rate and they have more barrels because of that bat being on plane. And even when you don't get it great, it's still hit hard enough to dunk something in like that in front of the center fielder. Well, all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. Willie Adamas stands in. The shortstop takes the ball. And he deals. Run around the move. There's a ball. Throw. Save. Good steal a second right there. And now the table is set for the middle of this order to drive in the first run of this ball game. I like that they're trying to manufacture some offense early on. You've got to come into the zone, and then guys have a better chance of hitting the ball hard like he did right there. Now back, second base is Nicholas, the dude. Kicks and fires. Swing and a miss. And it's 0-2. Wow, good luck catching up to that one. Nobody out. Runner first. Goes down looking. Well, he went up there trying to be aggressive, that's for sure. Hacking at those first two pitches, but clearly that last one fooled him. He could have been sitting on something else entirely, but you want to be able to adjust on 0-2 and, and at least get a swing off when it's in the zone. Maybe choke up, maybe spread out your stance a little bit. You got to give the guy credit on. So one out, nobody on. Here's the left fielder, Brian Reynolds. Love how vocal the umpire is today. No doubt in the hitter's mind, the catcher's mind, and even the pitcher's mind as to the conviction in the call. Hey, your pitch. Drive it deep, huh? Here you go. You'll want. On the ground, right side, the dude. In plenty of time to first, and they take care of Reynolds for the out. Well, he's doing a nice job right of through. keeping the ball out oh. of the air. Lets the defense work behind Double him with another ground ball. The batter number two. On Second the mound, eight. he had a little trouble Nicholas. back in the first, but it's been Not a different two. story the rest of the way. Really settled into this outing nicely. 
Swings and chases a low one there. Sometimes being lucky is a swing and miss. If he makes contact with that pitch, probably hits into a double play. The 0 1. Now it's belted. Deep to left. Way out of here. Home run. A gigantic blast. And they add to the lead. It's 4 0. Chris, he's homered in back to back games now. Yep, seeing the ball well, and he's got his timing locked in. He's looking pretty dangerous at the dish right now. Power versus power right there, like two locomotives colliding. Who's going to win? But a really good job there by the hitter, getting the top hand working. Powers that fastball out of here. This one. First pitch doesn't find the zone. One well, these Brewers no digging into their numbers have to be happy with the swings they're taking. Just look at how the ball's coming off their bats and tell me it's fun playing defense at this level. They've got seven hits at 90 plus miles per hour exit velocity, so you got to look alive out there. Up the middle. Dives, but it kicks off his glove. And he beats it. He's safe. Having himself a really nice game at the plate. To me, it's just a really controlled, balanced swing. He wasn't trying to do too much with it. Just stayed disciplined, got the barrel to the ball, and put it in play. Willie Adamas digs in now. He's already homered in this game. That missed by a lot, and it's one to know. Hey, let her fly up there, huh? huh? Late on that fastball. One Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Matt Moore up and loosening in the pen. Fleming also getting ready. And a 1-1. This one in the air right field. And they get it, Thomas for the out. Rounder tags it second to third, not in time. And it's runners at the corners with one gone. And now it's William Contreras. One for three. A runner at third with less than two outs. This is the guy that usually comes through back. in these spots. Check on the runner. Maybe. And he dives back in safely. That one down the line. Tosses to first. Out. There for the out. Runner scores from third. Garrett Mitchell now, up down for the Brewers. Garrett Mitchell. Hey, let's hold him right here. Fought off foul. The dude stands at second with two gone. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Coming home. He scores, and they're pulling away up by seven now. It's a double. Third hit of the night for him. Picks himself up in RBI. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy. Didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep. Took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. So two on with two away. Nicholas the dude will hit next. He's got the power 
but great contact skills. One of the best contact hitters in the game. This is a true five-tool guy. Not very many of them out there, but when he's on the field, you can't take your eye off of him. Swing and a miss, strike one. Fans come to the ballpark no ball. to watch right. him play. And in baseball, to have such a talented player going out there every day Ooh. and putting on the show that he does, okay. just a joy to watch. Let's fly. Let's go. Right here. Oh, and Chew now gets a piece there. We'll do it again. It's for average power, the ability to feel the arm, and then the speed. Really impressive. Out to short. Come on, get here, get here, Gets get here, get first. here. That's the third out. Brewers strand a couple, and they're on top, Sensational showing in the win. A three-hit performance, including a homer. Though they may want to change how they approach him next time because he was just incredible in this one. He looked like a threat every time he came up. The final line score for our ball game tonight. For the victorious Brewers, eight runs on 16 hits. No errors, they left 14 runners on base. For the Pirates, two runs, seven hits. One error, they left nine runners on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 12 minutes. Nicholas the Dude getting ready to hit. Nicholas the Dude. There you go. See it up. Let it fly. And it's fouled away. The Dude starting up the middle at second, hitting third in the lineup, and he's the reigning National League Rookie of the Year. Now this one's crushed down the line. Fucking foul ball. Not close with that one, and it's one and two. Two out, space is empty. On the ground to the left. Dig, 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 dig. And that will end the inning. Gone in order are the Brewers. And now the Pirates will take their turn in a scoreless ball game. You're dialed into the show. Here's the Pirates catcher now. The pit pit. He might want to steal second in this spot, but he's dealing with a catcher that has one of the best pop times in the game. He needs to pick his spot very wisely. And the 1 0. Runner on the go. Strike in there. Transfer bobble, and there's no throw. Flies around third. The throw in. Safe. Now 
there you go. The RBI machine. Another clutch run scoring at bat. Yeah, he's been so good in these situations. Call it clutch if you want, but his resume speaks for itself. Here's Byron Buxton. And Boog, I'd say he's due. First pitch, oh, just misses. And a good eye there. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. Jones, the lead runner out at second. The do at first with no outs. Swung on, belted. Sawinski on the move, heading back. Feeling for the wall as he makes the catch. Runner tags at second. Now we'll see if moving up to third there pays off for him. He didn't have to tag and go, but now he can score a lot of different ways. Doesn't have to be a base hit. We'll see what happens. Willie Adamas stands in. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. The kick and the pitch. Runner goes. That's it for a strike. Oh, and they got him. Kind of a gamble right there. They're trying to stay out of the inning ending double play possibility, but now two outs, and it gets a little tougher to drive in the run from third. So two down. So next to the plate for Pittsburgh, Leover Peguero. You know this guy's great speed is in the back of that pitcher's mind. If he can get on, it's going to give him one more thing he's got to think about. A one-two. Bounce to the right. The dude on the run sends it over to first. And that is the inning. Down in order, goal to Pirates. And it remains a 3-2 ball game. swing of the bat right here trying to close that gap but you know at the very least if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ball game. and find that's it, a base it, hit they fired in quickly so it's first and second with only one away everything came together for him just a solid swing right there caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit those always feel great could be a chance here for them to start clawing back into this ball game Two on with one out. Byron Buxton up now for the Brewers. Singy, you got to appreciate a guy who's this good defensively. I mean, watching him track balls in the outfield, it is beautiful. And a breaking ball drops in for a strike. So how much does his speed factor into his ability to go get it? It's heartbreaking for the hitter because off the bat, he thinks one this more. ball's going to get down. Because of that speed and the ability to make up so much ground, he enters the picture and breaks a guy's heart. That two misses. One. And it's two and one. There's one guy that I can think about, Boog, who started as a third baseman, Alex Gordon, and then became an elite perennial gold glover out in left field for the Kansas City Royals. But he's a guy, when you watch him play, you would imagine that that's all he ever played in his life was the outfield. Two on, one out. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Yeah, some guys just have instincts, right? I mean, that's the way it goes. We talk about Larry Walker, the Hall of Famer, and his instinct on the bases, despite the fact that he didn't play a, a ton of baseball as a kid. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. Remember Mark Kotze was a real good defensive outfielder. Good instincts, not great speed. Here comes a pitch. 
gets a piece and stays alive. Yeah, and I figured you would get Kotze into this because you had a free dinner at his house the other night. That is true. Next okay. offering is downstairs. Hey, he goes down Chris. looking. Frustrating end to the at bat for the hitter, and I'm sure that's going to sit on him for a little bat. while. You want to be ready to hit the fastball. Really? Sometimes you can overthink things, and I think that was the case right there. Willie Adamas up now for the Brewers. Wait for your pitch up there. That's and that one clips the corner. They've got a potent lineup, and when you think about teams capable of rallying from this kind of deficit, they're right at the top of the list. The pitch on a line base hit around third. The throw in, go, keep going, keep and he's hit safely at third. A run comes in on the play. Just a very nice approach and swing right there to use the big part of the field. Everything was on time. He stayed balanced through the entire swing and just launched that one into center. So they're at the corners now. There's Gary Sanchez. He has, as they like to say, let me guess, Boo, light tower power. Ball, no. That's right. Ball one there. One ball, no strike. Lefty out of the stretch, runners at first and third. Smash to center, way back, and you can forget it. Home run. A three run homer. It's his eighth home run of the year, and we are starting over. It's 6 6. This game is breathing new life thanks to that home run, and that's exactly what they needed. It's like he's playing wiffle ball up there, and that's typically not the easiest way to hit a home run. To the slight opposite field into the gap, man, making it look easy, that's for sure. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. Hey, no outs here. Well, it's critical right here that they bear down and turn in some quality at bats. Try to chip away at that lead because if it gets to the ninth, that closer's coming in. The pitch. Little chopper rolls foul. Well, these Brewers doing a good job at the plate with runners on base, and that can be a key difference maker in the game. With runners in scoring position, they've come through more than 50% of the time, and you can see the damage it's created on the scoreboard. Swinski makes a nice running catch. Well, those can be pretty fun as an outfielder. Got to put it into his highest gear and go a long way. To... Three! Ball four, take the base. And here's the catcher. The catcher. Hamlet. Hey. Hey, big one. Easy. Here we go. No outs here, nobody on. Hey, come on, big guy. Need you here. And a pitch. Runner on the go. Pitch in for a strike. Save and second, and that was not close. Well, with that kind of elite arm he has behind the plate, man, it's a pretty big deal when you can swipe a bag against this dude. Maybe more than anything, it prevents teams from just testing him, thinking that they can even steal the base. Gilberto no Celestino, the next pirate to hit. Gilberto Celestino. Looking Hold good, up. looking good. No one better. Come on. Two on, one out. Two. On the ground, two, right two, side. Two. Four, six, 
three double play. And the inning is over. So they're able to work around a pair of walks in the inning through eight full. It's the Pirates nine and the Brewers six. showing in the loss. Not one to put on the personal highlight reel necessarily, but wasn't a big downfall for him in the loss. For the Victoria Pirates, nine runs on 13 hits. No errors. They left seven runs on base. For the Blues, six runs, 11 hits. With one error, they left five runners on base. So up next, Adam Nicholas the Dude. The second base. Nicholas the Dude. One out, one out. Hey, see it. Rip it. Here you go. Yes. Swing and a miss. Curveball in the dirt. Oh, Good pitch right there. Anytime you can get one by a bat of this caliber, especially with runners on, it's got to give you some confidence out there on the mound that you can win this battle. Man at second. Worm burner into the outfield for a knock. Rounds third, headed for the plate. And they'll score first. It's one zip. Tries to get back in time, but they got him. side and I don't know what's going on there but he's safe at first Boog, not sure how we analyze that no one, one so good. let's just chalk that up to uh, maybe a big thumb okay we won't mention it again the batter number two second base Nicholas the two Right now, kid. Here we go. Foul ball there. Runner at first with no outs here. On the ground. Just got no, him on that one. That's a good piece of hitting right there. The job was to move the runner up and give your team a chance to score the goal ahead run. That's exactly what. Base is empty one now away, and center now the center field. fielder, Jack Sawinski. One down, base is empty. The ground right side the do throws the first in time now got the designated hitter Rowdy. three three perfect three 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 the batter number two second base Nicholas, 
And first offering is fouled off. Two outs. On the ground to third. Zips it across. And that is that. Nobody left for Milwaukee. And this game is still tied at two and two. The second baseman, Jermar oh, Johnson. The second baseman. Not the easiest thing when you're talking about a guy that's, you know, perhaps is going to be in the rotation, or maybe a long relief guy to not start an inning, to come into an inning with pressure on it and, and try to get yourself comfortable. Rodon ready. Here comes. Bounced out to short, Adamas. They take the force out. That ends the inning. Pirates strand a couple. Score remains 2-2. Two -two. Ball four, take the ball. Three. the second baseman Nicholas the dude one for three swing and a miss and that one missed by a ton look it looked like that curveball backed up on him and although it's a mistake it works out really good for the pitcher the hitters timed it up expects it to be to a certain spot and it just doesn't get there swing and a foul straight back Tying run at the plate. One, two. And that one goes straight to the backstop. And now a man into scoring position. there and sometimes you just gotta let it out that's an outstanding job of taking that executing and getting out of a tough inning The dude outfield deep here tried to prevent anything over their heads. Intentional walk coming here, and that sets up the double play possibility with one away and runners at first and second. Here's Byron Buxton. 0 for 3. A fly out, a ground out, and a strikeout. Well, comfortable or not, these are the situations closers they seem to live for. When you get into some hot water, a jam, tough spot, whatever you want to call it, look, this is where they earn their keep. Outside low, one and one. This one in the air, center field. Settles under this one. Brings it in. Two down. So it's their last chance in this one. And now it's William Contreras down to their final out, but an opportunity to deliver the tying and maybe even a winning run. And there's a ball. They hope he's the guy to spark a comeback. He tends to play better when his team is behind, so why not him?
Big spot, two outs. Both the tying and go-ahead runs are aboard here at the top of the ninth. And another ball. Tough spot right here. A couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. Two on, two outs. And that's off the inside edge. And that's ball three. Willie Adamas in the on deck circle. Righty delivers. Fastball for a strike. So both runners should be on the move here on the full count pitch. Yeah, this is a good chance to tie up this ball game. See if you can find some open grass in the outfield. Line drive. And he's saved the third. And this one is tied. A run scores on the play. That's a big now time that, clutch that. performance, bro. Top of the ninth, your team needs you to come through, and you deliver a game tying RBI base hit. Now let's see if they can build on that and get the lead. Put the pressure on the other side heading into the bottom of the ninth. And on the mound now for the Pirates, Anthony Solomedo. Well, he's been a really tough guy to take deep this season. You usually have to string some hits together in order to get to him. Solomedo. Go ahead, run on base. Willie Adamas stands in. And the first pitch misses for ball one. The dude, the runner at third, Contreras. On at second with two down. That's off the mark, and yeah, that's ball two. When you get ahead in the count, there's no doubt that the success rate goes up, and that's what he's been doing. It's made a big impact for him in recent games. Let's go, kid. Here we go. Two outs. And a foul ball. Makes the count two and one. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. Next oh. pitch is outside. Will Benson in the on deck circle. At the belt and fires. Tosses the first one, and that is that. A rally in the top of the ninth, and we've got a whole new ball game. We're all tied up 5 5. Half of the inning at the plate for Pittsburgh, Leover Piguero. All season long, he's racked up a number of saves, and sometimes the adrenaline doesn't get high enough until there's a runner or two on base. Rock the fire, baby. Make something happen for us. Man, it's second. Up the middle, right, whips here, it to first. Here, here. One out, the bottom of the ten. Just about gives his skipper a heart attack, but no, no, that's where he functions best. Heel, bear, count. Full four, take your base. We've grown to expect him to just roll in the games and simply close them out easily, and he's made it look very easy at times, and now he's up to 40 saves for the year. The final line score for our ball game tonight. For the victorious Brewers, eight runs on 14 hits. One error, they left 14 runners on base. For the Pirates, five runners on 11 hits. One error, they left 18 runners on base. That's 
So up next, that Nicholas the Dude. The second base. Nicholas, Nicholas the Dude. And that one fouled off. Come on, baby, stay hot up there. And that got him pretty flush. He had two strikes that on him, and he hit him. Bases loaded, nobody out. Now it's the veteran outfielder, Byron Buxton. Fastball for a strike. 4 1. That's outside. They need a strikeout, and you need a ball perhaps on the ground for a double play or get yourself a pop up, something, but you've got to make some pitches. But if he can battle and get through this, he can earn some points. All loaded up, dangerous hitter at the plate. He fouls it off. We'll do it again. And that one missing low. Way to lay off that pitch down. And a swing and a miss. Huge strikeout there. Well, that's a curveball that I'm sure he wants back at the plate. Two strikes, the sort of pitch you're hoping for. A bit of a mistake, and I'd say in a very hittable location. But clearly the break was enough to get him to swing through it. Willie Thomas stands in. Golden opportunity right here. Upstairs. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. Benson on third. Monasterio at second. The dude at first. One gone. And that one a little below the knees. Now 2-0. Swing and a miss as he was late. As a hitter, you got to learn something from that pitch. He clearly wasn't timed up on the fastball. In a 2-0 count, you have to be ready to do damage. And the right hater deals. Bows it back with two strikes. First inning and already up to 23 pitches. And that just misses. Well, I think he's trying to get a feel for where that one missed. I mean, it could have gone either way, but he looked a little shocked for a second there. Right-hander kicks deals. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get oh, Got him! He didn't make it easy for him on the mound, but they still get the strikeout. Well, that was such a great opportunity to grab the lead. You had the infield back. All you've got to do is just put the ball in the play on the ground, and you drive across a run. It's a frustrating outcome for the hitter. Now, I'll still have a chance, but it's probably going to take a clutch hit with two outs. And now it's William Contreras. Right through there for a strike. And a pitch. That one missing inside. All loaded up here in the finale of this four-game set. That's a bullet, but it goes foul. Two outs. That one is absolutely belted. And it hops over the wall 
for an automatic double as they score a pair on the play. You don't want to get greedy, but it's easy to imagine all three runners coming home to score with this type of contact. Yeah, the automatic double costs them a run, but they're still in a position to keep scoring. Now it's the DH, Garrett Mitchell. That one's upstairs, ball one. And that's ball one. Well, with this many pitches thrown here in this first inning, I mean, you're giving the other team a really good look. He's going to have to find a way to get some weak contact, maybe a swing and miss, get into that dugout and hit the reset button. Got uh -huh. it started a little too early. Strike one. Good late sink on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good. And then by the time he gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the barrel to it. To the right side, Bay gathers and throws to first. That ends the inning, and they limit the damage. But two runs form, and they jump ahead. On to the bottom of the first. It's the Brewers two, and the Pirates nothing. Ball four, take the ball. Three, zero, three, out, out, zero, out, three. The batter number two. The dude in his third season, hitting third in the lineup, and he's a former rookie of the year. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Oh, that's that slurf right there. He threw it extremely well. He talked about just a ton of breaks. So tough to get that barrel to. One out, base is empty. And down on strikes. Two gone now. Well, big power guy right there and generating so much bat now speed, it's that. hard to bring it. As we go, go. to the last of the third, at the plate for Pittsburgh, Gilberto Celestino. Celestino. pitch right side on to first leadoff man retired here in the third third baseman number two Hector Yelby full four take the base that's ball four ball four take the base Well, he's so good about trying to drive the ball to the opposite field gap in these situations. If he takes that approach, he could bust this game wide open. Swing and a drive, deep right field. Swinski on a dead sprint, racing back. He's got it. All three runners tagging up. He'll score on the sack fly, and they're up by three. In that situation, you're looking to get something up in the zone that you can put in the air. Worst case scenario, a sacrifice fly to drive in that runner. So the batting order turns over, and now it's switch hitting third baseman Hector Del Villar. Hey, double him up. Let's go. Hey, one down. Yeah, one down. Boog, one really cool moment I remember at PNC Park is the 2006 Home Run Derby during All-Star Weekend. David Ortiz and Ryan Howard each hit homers into the alley. Monasterio to second. There's one, and it's a double play to end the inning. Still nothing on the scoreboard for him after five. It's the Brewers five, and the Pirates nothing. First and second, two down. Next for Milwaukee, Nicholas the Dude. He's all for one. Out front and foul to the left side. Here comes the 0 1. Right side, hard hit. Slings to first, out. third out. 
two left on. Two, three, four, due up in the home half of the sixth. It's the Brewers five and the Pirates nothing. First and second with one man gone. Here's the center fielder, Gilberto Celestino. These fans, they are ready to cheer about something. job of keeping the ball out of the air lets the defense work behind him with another ground ball good execution Three. one down Nicholas the do the next to hit I'm curious how he decides to attack on the mound this guy at the plate has been great hitting under pressure this year that one way inside Runners at first and second with one gone, and we're in the top of the eighth. Two on, one out. He swings and drives one out to deep left field. That one outs against the fence. One run is in. Now two runs score, and it's now a six-run lead. Nicely done. Brings home two. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. One out, runner at second. Now it's going to be Byron Buxton. Fastball for a strike. And the pitch oh. up and in and one and one action in the pen down there Josh Fleming the southpaw is throwing and getting that sinker dialed in Chapman also out, throwing Let's go, right here. man it's second oh. and that's off the inside edge two and one Out back our way, and that's out of play. 2-2 Two -two now. Good job to fight that one off. The do the runner at second with one away. In the dirt. Hold it here. Hold it here. The do up to third on the wild pitch. Kicks and deals. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. Hey, you pitch. Go the, Here you go. the pitch. Ah. He battled for a long time, but it finishes with a strikeout. You can't be mad at yourself after an at-bat no, like no, that no. one. Well, he clearly didn't no. recognize that curveball no. out of the hand no, no, no. and tried to check the swing, just went around too far, and you're hoping oh, the umpire the maybe missed it, and they bail you out. Adamas in the box now as he leaves that one up high. Way to lay off that fastball up right there. You're looking for something you see well that you can handle, but you also have to keep the discipline so that you're not popping up pitches that are just a little too high. And a pitch. Will chase that time. William Contreras waits on deck. And he deals. 
And that gets the top of the zone for a strike. Thought the green light might be on right there, but maybe not. If you're looking to swing in that count, that's the pitch you want. And that's ball four. Up next to the walk off. Josh Fleming taking over on the mound. Don't expect to see a whole lot of swings and misses, but he's going to compete out there on the mound. First and third, two away. And now here is William Contreras. Pickoff throw, and he's back safely. Fly ball down the line. Sawinski ranging back, and it slices just foul. Bounced up the middle. Bay tosses to first. They limit the damage here. So two runs on one base hit, a couple of errors, but two are left stranded. Last half of the eighth coming up. It's the Brewers seven and the Pirates one. Ow. Man at first, Leover Paguero, Not the next pirate to hit. Leover Paguero. The Brewers up big in this one here, the bottom half of the eighth inning. On the ground, two ball. One at second. The bat, the right field. Jack. Suwinski. This is a huge win to take this series on the road before heading back home. You go home feeling good about yourselves. You've got some good momentum, but at home you also have a higher expectation to play well. So they're going to have to maintain the focus because those fans are expecting a lot. The final line score for our ball game this afternoon. Thank mm -hmm. you. 